Not just kid stuff, we've all seen it in movies, quicksand, a silent villain swallowing people whole. It's a classic trope, often used to add suspense and drama to a scene. While it might seem like a far-fetched danger, quicksand is a real threat, especially in places like sand and gravel pits. These areas are more common than you might think, and they can be found in various locations around the world. These pits, often found near construction sites or in rural areas, may look harmless, but they can hide dangerous secrets beneath the surface. The ground may appear solid, but just a few steps in the wrong direction can lead to a perilous situation. Don't be fooled by their ordinary appearance. What makes these pits risky is the combination of loose sand and water, the perfect recipe for quicksand. When water saturates the sand, it creates a mixture that can trap anything that steps into it. Remember, what we see in the movies isn't always true. Quicksand doesn't suck you down like a vacuum cleaner. Instead, it works more like a thick, heavy liquid, making it incredibly difficult to move. But it can trap you, making it difficult to escape without help. If you ever find yourself in quicksand, the key is to stay calm and try to slowly wiggle your way out. Panicking and thrashing around will only make you sink deeper. Always be aware of your surroundings and avoid areas that look suspiciously wet or unstable. Understanding quicksand. So, what exactly is quicksand? It's a fascinating natural phenomenon that has intrigued and terrified people for centuries. Imagine regular sand, but with way more water between the grains. This combination creates a unique and unstable mixture. This extra water reduces friction, making the sand behave like a thick liquid rather than solid ground. The grains of sand are suspended in water, which makes it difficult for them to support weight. This is why you sink your weight isn't supported by the loose, waterlogged sand. The more you struggle, the deeper you may sink, as the movement causes the sand to lose even more friction. Where can you find this dangerous mix? Quicksand isn't just a Hollywood myth, it's a real danger in certain environments. Quicksand often forms near water sources like rivers, lakes, or even the ocean's edge during low tide. These areas are prone to having the right conditions for quicksand to develop. That's right, water plays a big part. The constant movement of water saturates the sand, making it unstable. It seeps into the sand, creating the perfect conditions for quicksand to form. The saturation level is crucial. Too much or too little water won't create quicksand. Always be extra cautious around these areas, especially if the sand looks wet and extra smooth. These visual cues can help you identify potential quicksand spots and avoid them. If you ever find yourself in a quicksand-prone area, move slowly and deliberately. Panicking and quick movements can make the situation worse. Use a stick or another object to test the ground ahead of you. This can help you determine if the sand is stable enough to walk on. With the right knowledge and precautions, you can safely navigate areas where quicksand might be present. Stay informed and stay safe. Why escape is tough. Here's the thing about quicksand. Panicking will only make things worse. The more you struggle, the faster you sink. It's like being stuck in mud. The key is to move slowly and deliberately. But why is escape so difficult? When you try to pull your foot out, you create a vacuum. This vacuum makes it feel like the sand is sucking you down, making escape even harder. Plus, quicksand is denser than water. This means you're more buoyant, but it also makes it tougher to get a firm grip and pull yourself free. Smart moves around sand. Section 4. Staying safe. Smart moves around sand. The best way to deal with quicksand is to avoid it altogether. Stick to marked trails and avoid areas with loose, wet sand, especially near water. If you have to cross a potentially dangerous area, bring a walking stick for support and to test the ground ahead. Remember, safety always comes first. Never venture out alone, especially in areas known for quicksand. Tell someone where you're going and when you expect to be back. It's always better to be prepared. A survival guide, section five. How to escape quicksand, a survival guide. Let's say despite your best efforts, you find yourself trapped in quicksand. It can be a terrifying experience, but with the right knowledge, you can escape safely. The first and most crucial step is don't panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse. Remember what we discussed in the previous sections. Stay calm and act quickly. Your calmness will help you think clearly and act effectively. First, try to spread your body weight as much as possible. This will prevent you from sinking further. Lie down on your back, spreading your arms and legs wide. This position increases your surface area and helps you float. This will help you float and make it easier to maneuver. Next, slowly and gently, try to free your legs. Avoid sudden movements as they can cause you to sink deeper. If you're carrying a walking stick or any long object, use it to create a support base. This can help distribute your weight and provide leverage. Once you have freed your legs, roll slowly towards solid ground. Rolling helps maintain your body weight distribution and prevents further sinking. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Quick movements can be detrimental, so take your time. 
And if you're unsure or the situation worsens, don't hesitate to call for help immediately. It's always better to seek assistance than to risk your safety. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Knowing these steps can make a significant difference in a life-threatening situation. Stay informed, stay safe, 